Some members of the ANC standing as independent candidates say they've received letters from the ANC informing them that they have contravened the ANC's constitution by contesting the local government elections. Now, the party said is said to have given them 48 hours to respond and explain why they should not be expelled. Newsroom Africa's Linda Mnisi is following this story and he joins us from Kimberley. Linda, good morning to you. So, why indeed shouldn't the ANC expel these members who've decided that they were going to stand as independents whilst at the same time enjoying being members of the ANC? Well, Kali, we understand that this letter comes from the office of the provincial secretary of the ANC here in the Northern Cape, informing uh, these candidates who have decided that they will be contesting the upcoming local government elections as independent candidates, that they are aware of where they stand, and that, uh, in their view, would amount to misconduct and a contravention of Rule 2517.14 of the ANC's constitution, which basically states that uh, no member of the party can stand as an independent candidate, can canvass for any other political party, or, of course, participate in other issues of, uh, you know, the local government elections, whether be it local, national, or provincial, saying that if they are found guilty of misconduct, uh, the disciplinary committee can then take action against them to expel them. It is for this reason that they've also given them 48 hours to respond as to why they shouldn't be expelled. Now, here we're talking talking about members that are already uh, in the candidates list, uh, which has been published by the IEC. They have already canvassed uh, for votes, and one of the members who is joining me right now is Mzwandile Flatile. He's contesting in Ward 19 in the Sol Plaki municipality. He joins me right now. Uh, Dr. Mzwandile, thank you so much for your time. I want us to talk about your journey, and according to my understanding, yours started in July this year when, uh, you know, the ANC was nominating its candidates and you were one of the people that were preferred, one of the candidates that was preferred. What happened then? Uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, my brother. Yes, uh, the process started in fact in June. Uh, it's, it's, it was just an error that I wrote. They said the, the process begin, uh, began at June, uh, July. It, it began at June 24. Mm. So where the, where the BGM took place, it, uh, what you call them? Uh, the housing support center where four people were nominated so that's four people that, so those four people so so the, so those four people were, uh, were those four names were taken to the community so the community must decide who, who must be the, uh, the, the favorite candidate of what 19 yeah. so uh, those process uh, uh, was on was held on the 12th of August 2021 20, at Zingiza school yeah. So um, on that particular day, I emerged as, as the winner. So the chairperson of the branch, which is McDonald Moralabi, declared uh, uh, the results as, as the elections were free and fair, and there were no dispute lodged. Yeah. So, so uh, I managed uh, to win on, on, on that particular day. Yeah. So the results, the results were sent to the to the region. Yeah. At, at what point did you then decide that uh, you were not going to uh, be a part of the ANC in this election? Uh, are you saying that those results were rigged and you were not, you did not emerge as the preferred candidate at that point? No, what happened, uh, I, I was called to, to the region to go and sign the, the, the results. So when before I sign, I, I check, I check, I check uh, my results. They were they, they were they were correct. So they gave me uh, uh, the IEC form, yeah. which I filled in. So I took it from the under the first of of, of August. Yeah. So I took it that now I'm I'm, I'm registered now as as, as, as an what 19 candidate of the ANC in what 19. Yeah. So apparently I don't know what happened or, or those papers or the, the, where, 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 were they thrown away. I don't know. So someone within the region called me and said, so, no, you are no longer the, 
uh, the candidate. So your, 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 what you call, your results have been, have, have been swapped. Yeah. So I wrote a dispute letter to the region. Yeah. And f from the region I wrote and again to the, to the province. So the province, uh, they advised me I must write to the PLC, which is the provincial law scholar team. Yeah. So we had a meeting with Mr. Franzman. Why Mr. Franzman told us not, uh, uh, they received a, a, a name from what, 19, which is the, uh, uh, what do you call, Itimel Lekoma, who was a runner-up uh, at, at, at a community meeting. So he got uh, less than me, who, who emerged to be the winner. So, so I met with the, co the committee called me. Yeah. They, they called me, they held, a, they held a meeting with me because of, they, were, they were checking the time, the, uh, the IEC registration, or when, when, it, when it closed. So yes. they decided, Mr. Flatella, because of the NC don't want you, because you have exhausted all, all internal avenues. Yeah. So we as a community of, of, of what, 19, we will register you as an independent candidate. Are you prepared? Then I said, no, uh, let me just take a, a moment. Let me go first uh, consult uh, with my family. Yeah. So, and, and, and I'm sorry to cut you there. I mean, as, as of course, uh, you went on to, to accept that nomination, and that is why behind you, you have your posters uh, of you e electioneering, basically, to become the councillor of Ward 19. So did the ANC not know about you contesting from that particular time to right now? And do you view this letter at this particular point as perhaps an attempt to sabotage you? Uh, I, I don't want to say they want to sabotage me or what. I don't know whether they didn't know about about about, the, about, about my inten my uh, my <coughs> my intention to be uh, an as an independent candidate, really. Because you know, I'm I'm surprised to just get the letter on the eve of the local government elections. Yeah. Because of now my campaign is 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 is, is, is running. Okay. It's up and running. So can everyone here in in what 19? Not let not, let me not say everyone. Yeah. Let me say most of the people in what 19. They know my work, they hence they support me. All right. That is Mzwandile Flatella there, explaining to us his plight in terms of that letter that he says he's received from the provincial secretary of the ANC here in the Northern Cape. I tell you what, I was with him yesterday, and uh, there are some uh, political tensions that are simmering in this particular award where he is concerned as, uh, you know, he continues to uh, uh, campaign uh, for the upcoming local government elections. We've made contact with the ANC in the province, and they've uh, promised to get back to us just after uh, 12 o'clock today. So later on, then, we'll be speaking to more of the people uh, who have received these letters and ultimately a response from the ANC. Holly? Linda Mnisi, thank you very much.